sociology is the field in which you study human behavior and human experience and how it relates to the fact that individuals are embedded within larger groups and collections of individuals. When you see an individual as a member of a group or of a collectivity, you get a completely different perspective on that person and on the groups of which they're a member. In sociology, we explore a fundamental tension. On the one hand, you yourself have your own identity and your own agency and your own ability to make choices that affect your life. But on the other hand, there is a collective responsibility for your life as well. Super individual factors like where you live or where you are located in these vast face-to-face -face networks that we human beings assemble or what kinds of formal institutions are near you, like governments or hospitals, for example, can have as much to do with what happens to you in your life as, the own, as your own decisions and your own actions. This is the difference between structure and agency, between collective constraints and opportunities that constrain and permit you to do certain kinds of things in your life, on the one hand, and your own individual choices and actions that permit you to do other sorts of things, on the other hand. That's the first big idea that I'd like to communicate today. A second key idea in sociology is that collective phenomena are not mere aggregations of individual phenomena. There's something special, something weird almost, about groups of individuals, about collectivities, something weird that you cannot see if you just study individuals, but that you must study whole groups of people in order to really understand.